Hell yeah, it's about time. I waited two decades for this moment. So, without much uh, blah blee bloop, uh, uh, I jump right into the game and just play it. I will uh, talk what I'm doing and why I'm doing stuff along the way. Uh, uh, if you guys want me to explain that even further, I can make a video, uh, a guide video, some kind, some sort of. Uh, and show you my old Diablo 2 files. There are some summoners. The Necromancer Summoner was always my favorite, so I definitely play this guy and show you how it 100% works all the time. There are so many guide videos that overcomplicate all things. It's really much simpler than that. And that even a jerk like me can do this with ease. So, Without more talking, jump right into it. Good day. The first thing I have to admit, this game oh, looks amazing. Stranger. I'm not surprised. As so, okay. Let's just start. Um, All who oppose me, beware. I like it. So, the summoner. What is important about the summoner? Uh, the most important thing is the summoner is not a class to rush through the game. If you want to rush through the game, play a Hammerdin, play a Blizzard Sword, something of that kind. Um, the main reason for that is all your summons have, like everything else in the game, a chance to hit. And the main factor, and this is called attack rating by the way, uh, the main factor if your minions hit or not is your last level. So your level, just your level. So, if you run through the game and be under level, which means the area in, uh, in where you are is higher than your current character level, uh, the chance to hit for your minions is pretty low. And this is a double problem. It doesn't only mean uh, that they do less damage, like a Hammerdin, which is a little bit under leveled. No, it means your minions don't hit, so they do no damage. So, playing a summoner is uh, more lifestyle choice than everything else. Uh, for stats, we need in the near future 25 to wear belts and armor. And some good boots, uh, but overall, the only thing you really need is vitality. At the beginning of the game, we can help our minions out with hitting guys, but as we progress, we will more and more lean back and do uh, more team manager things. Uh, now I'm just running around, guarding a few, a few levels. Uh, we missed the Den of Evil, which is our first quest. Oh yeah, the auto gold pickup. Completely forget that. Forgot that. So that means while you see uh, other characters uh, uh, running through the game and just being fast. What we want to do is take our time, kill stuff, and grab our levels on the way. Great charm, nice. Uh, other things I should mention. What do we need, what do we don't need? The main thing we are looking for is plus two skills. Plus two skills from charms or 
Charms, weapons, ones, necro hats. Will come late in the game, but uh, most of the time, till your nightmare, the best thing you can find is plus two skills. As a summoner, I show you the tree again. Uh, these are level one skills, so. Can't hit this guy. Uh, what did I want to say? <laughs> Something about paste and uh, how to uh, walk through the game. Uh, yeah. Ah! Items we have to look for. Plus two race skeletons. We find them very early or. We don't find them at all, because it's a low level uh, skill, and the higher your level is, uh, the lower the chance for low level spells, uh, skills. Let's go for more vitality. Greetings. I am a cop. There is a place. Good day. So, attack rating is completely irrelevant for us. Um, six to life is nice at the beginning. Oh, does this still work? Oh, if you click on the bubbles, the numbers stay. That's nice, 500 gold, I take that. Uh, let's... Sell, 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 sell. We don't need that much mana. Mana. We don't need that much pots. I'd like to have two of those. Let me sort it out. We keep them for now. Yeah. So starts. Come on, let's. While I slaughter. Uh, stuff I can talk about, stuff like that. Uh, the game plan. The game plan, quick. <coughs> excuse me, quick and dirty. Get skillers? No. Wait, let me sort it out. Um. <laughs> I sense death within this place. Ooh, auto pick up is uh, nice. So we are a summoner, which means we summon uh, minions and those guys fight for us. So. What we max out first is race skeletons. Why not uh, skeleton mastery? It makes your skeletons better. Yeah, it makes them better, but you get more. After the first three levels, you get uh, another, an additional skeleton every fourth level. So at the end, you have eight skeletons, and you need just one uh, plus two skill, plus two race skeleton to get your ninth, and then. Uh, so level 21, Knight Skeleton, 22, 23, 24, you get your 10th, uh, ten, ten, you have 10 Skeletons. And maxing out race Skeleton will bring us without any problem through norm. Yes, there is the Clay Golem Iron Maiden trick, but... Really? No. Yeah, if you want to run through the game and need to cheese uh, the egg bosses, okay. Then I would do that. But other than that, just walk... Just walk through the game, enjoy your journey, gather your levels, and there is no need for... 
cheesing out or tricks. In really, really old days, uh, when I uh, uh, reg on a regular basis played hardcore characters, yeah, and they they die, and you have to start over again. I became so lousy, uh, so, so lazy, sorry, so lazy. I just pumped race skeleton, nothing else. Meanwhile, drinking coffee and uh, uh, scratching your balls. So with uh, uh, level 20, I had when I didn't uh, had done the Rudderman quest. I literally was at the 20 uh, race skeleton level 20, and it worked. The worst thing that can happen is if RNG is really not in your favor, and uh, some egg bosses can do their uh, uh, hardcore uh, uh, single target high damage skills. Yeah, then maybe your skellies slowly but surely die and uh, uh, what then? Yeah, you open a town portal, go gather more minions and come back. But to be honest, when you play a sorceress, Hamilton, and you run out of potion, uh, mana pots, well, what do you do? You open a town portal, go back to town, and buy more of them. So, oh, this guy is hard. Corpse fire. Let's help us get these a little bit out. Stop attacking. Now, boys, would you mind attacking this guy together? Okay, no, they're not. Okay, let's first kill this shaman. You're going on my nerves. So now, thanks. Yeah, we can get together with them. The hand axe actually is not a good pick. The chance that he rolls no good stats, that is not uh, much money, is pretty high. But we gathered some identifying scrolls, so what costs the world? So, the plan for normal. In ex your skill plan, let's put it this way. So now we have three skeletons. Let them fight. I show you. Now you see with the next level we don't get another one. The next one should be there at level uh, uh, what is it free? Free free. On level five or six comes the next. So now is a good time to put one point into skeleton mastery. Do I have any? Where can I? Ah, there. So the next nice thing, uh, the next major thing is on le uh, now we are just putting more points into Ray Skeleton till we can have a Clay Golem. At the beginning of the game, he hits pretty hard and he's uh, another minion. Um, and then somewhere around. It's a little bit uh, uh, depending on on your taste. Before you go to uh, Treehead, Woodfist, or the Countess, 
you should put a point into Amplify Damage or even just before Endarial would be fine. And then you put your brain out. Switch, switch it off. Just switch your brain off and put points into Ray's Skeleton. The moment you switch your brain on again is on level 22. How much are left? One. Some forgotten little dude that was resummoned after we left the area. Okay, great. Where are you? So, again. The first few levels. You put points into Ray Skeleton, Ray Skeleton, Ray Skeleton. Till we have at least three. Then you put one point in Skeleton Mastery. On level, then again, Ray Skeleton. Level six, Clay Golem. Somewhere in Act 1, if you find the need to do more than sit back, you put a point into Amplified Damage, which is the first curse you can buy. And then you switch your brain out again. Put points into a Skeleton. Is that enough to earn the Rogue's trust? What? Oh. Let me shortly readjust my... Key bindings. Yes, I could just log out and log in again, and I would be there as well, but whatever. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned. Whoop. Good evening. Once energy is nice, but useless, I'd rather have the money. Hey! Gold. This was worth it. You can keep them and throw them at enemies, but whatever. Let's keep one pot. The rest can literally go and be gold. Keep that. Oh, that's nice. Ah, I don't like how it looks, but ah, whatever. See? Easy as that. Uh, yeah. That was the first quest. Uh, I talked shortly again about the game plan. I think I, I didn't make that clear. And uh, <laughs> then we keep on going. One, two points here. So you have your three skeletons, one point here. Uh, uh, so, level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 here, 13, 14, 15, and so on. Then, uh, uh, 23, 24. Then you can fight Duriel with ease. He has a high amount of... Uh, uh, cold damage and this will help you a lot some people might might say use the trapify but he's so fast you won't make he, he hits one time and kill it without your without summon resist so I would rather go for summon resist for Diablo we can try to use it but I 
still think pumping more points here is better. Or then Skeleton Mastery. For Bale, we will have the Crappy Fight. So before you go to Bale, look that you buy those both, and then this one, let's say, at the usual quest, you buy the last both of them, or so. Ah. You will see. That's part one, and here's our second quest, Good evening. which we do next time. See ya.